Uh, this is very good. How are you guys doing? <laughs> So the question is, um, when will it be possible to start Transcendental Meditation at schools in Georgia? And when it does start, they would like it to start at this National Film University. Oh, this is so beautiful. I, I, you guys can start this program tomorrow. And <laughs> Um, or they're later on this afternoon or tonight. Um, there's a thing. Um, you have, uh, you need a legitimate teacher of transcendental meditation. As a this program is do you have those teachers in Georgia? Uh, uh, we have only one teacher. Yeah, they have yeah, two, um, teachers. two teachers of Transcendental Meditation in Georgia, yes. I would just say, you students have got to take this on yourself. You've got to organize it yourself and get together and make it happen. Uh, so you're going to make yes. it happen? Yeah? Yes. Yeah, they say yes. Okay, this is so good. And, and anytime you want to Skype or stay in touch or if you have questions, uh, just let me know and we'll Skype and see how you guys are doing with the, um, getting it all set up. Right. Could you tell your own experiences with Transcendental Meditation and how you got started? Well, I started almost 41 years ago here in Los Angeles. And I heard, you know, this word uh, enlightenment, and I'd heard this phrase, true happiness is not out there, true happiness lies within. And I uh, looked into many different forms of meditation and finally found Transcendental Meditation. Transcendental Meditation is a real blessing for human beings. It's an ancient form of meditation brought back for this time by Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. Every human being has a treasury within. And transcendental meditation is a tried and true method to connect us with that treasury. And the key word for human beings, the key word is transcend, transcending. Transcending means to truly experience that eternal level within every human being. That eternal ocean of consciousness. And you all, I just want to tell you that if you want to make it happen, no one's going to do it for you. You have to get together and make this thing happen. And when the whole school is meditating, you're going to see a 
huge, huge, beautiful, beautiful change. And what you do there will influence in the most positive way all the students in Georgia. So you guys have the have what it takes to light the spark and make it happen. David, there's one thing I one thing I learned today. One thing I learned today, David, is that the Georgian word for education translates as enlightenment and also can translate as developing that light within. It's so beautiful. <laughs> this must be a very advanced country. so the question is, does your movie have more purpose than to understand the movie? I always say that the movie is the thing. It doesn't need anything added to it. It doesn't need anything subtracted from it. It's the thing. And since on the surface, we are all different, there's many, many different interpretations to things that are abstract. Just like in life, there's many things happening that are abstract. And everybody is, everybody is like a detective. We look at things and try to make sense of things. And the more abstract the thing is, the more varied the interpretations. But there is a truth to things. And this, this thing of uh, transcending develops intuition. And intuition is the number one tool to make sense of what th what's going on. It's a knowingness. And there's an ocean of knowingness within each one of us. And it's such a sublime experience to dive within and experience that bliss consciousness and that ocean of all knowingness. And then you will truly understand Inland Empire. Did the practice of Transcendental Meditation inspire you to explore other aspects of art in addition to movies? That, uh, that ocean within each one of us uh, 
is an ocean of unbounded creativity. And when you get wet with that, ideas really start to flow. And ideas take us into all different kind of things. And that ocean within is also an ocean of unbounded energy. So we get so much more energy to realize those ideas in one medium or another. Okay. Oh, uh, What uh, what advice can you uh, can he give to be starting uh, directors? Um, what advice, David, can you give to um, students who are starting out to be directors? The same advice I said is like be true to yourself. Get your own voice and don't let anybody fiddle with it. What advice, David, can you give to um, students who are starting out to be directors? The same advice I said is like, be true to yourself. Get your own voice and don't let anybody fiddle with it. Very popular answer. <laughs> I do know there's many, many different forms of meditation. And now with brain research and other forms of research, they can tell just what each form of meditation does for the human being. And the strange thing is that so, so many, I don't even know of one form of meditation besides transcendental meditation that allows a person to truly transcend, meaning experience that deepest level of life. They say that the human being is like a tree. And many of the trees are not doing too well. <laughs> the leaves are yellow and brown and the boughs are bending. And many forms of meditation and many forms of medicine and many forms of this and that address just the level of the leaves. But they say the experienced gardener doesn't worry about the leaves. The experienced gardener waters the root. And automatically, the whole tree will come up to perfection.
Transcendental meditation is watering the root. You, you, we can't count on it. Uh, oh, check it in. So the, the question is, um, what uh, made you decide or what gave you the inspiration to make Straight Story because it's so different from the other movies that you've made? I read the script of the Straight Story and I felt the emotion and I wondered if cinema could really get uh, that emotion that I felt. And that's what drove me to to want to make the film, to try to get that emotion. Many times in films we see people crying but we don't feel like crying. So the trick is to get the get the feeling that's going on in the screen to go into the people. And sometimes this magical medium of cinema can do that. The holistic benefit of transcendental meditation, but what about the value of practical thinking for David? The value of practical thinking or what? The value of practical thinking for you, for David Lynch. Oh, well, practical thinking is um, uh, helped by, you know, transcending. Uh, common sense comes, um, great happiness comes, uh, more energy comes, more understanding, appreciation for life, for all things. It's, uh, it, it, because transcending is a holistic experience, all avenues of life get better. The question is, could you, uh, could you relate a funny instant incident from your life? Is there something funny that just happened to you that you could tell the audience? Uh, yeah, I understand. Um, uh, um, a lot of times I don't uh, get dressed up very well. I kind of look more like a, a bum. <laughs> And one time I was going to visit the president of the Motion Picture Association. And my assistant drove me. My assistant drove me to the building where the president was. And I strode, strode into the lobby. And I said there were, there were some security people at the front desk. Big security people. And I, I said, I'm here to see the president. <laughs> and, I, and they said, oh yeah, what president is that? <laughs> and I said, he's the president and he's on the sixth floor. <laughs> and they said, listen, Jack, 
There is no sixth floor in this building, and there is no president. I was in the wrong place. If you ever come to Georgia, there is a cafe, Blue Velvet, uh, with uh, Twin Peaks Cherry Pie, your organic coffee, and Badalamenti and music. <laughs> what, is, uh, what, what did that beautiful girl say to me? <laughs> she, um, she made an offer that you'll never be able to refuse, David. She said, if you ever come to Georgia, uh, there's a cafe ca called Blue Velvet that serves organic food, your own... No, no, organic David Lynch signature coffee. Yeah, organic David Lynch signature coffee. And you're welcome Twin to come Peaks cherry pie. at any time with <laughs> Twin Peaks cherry pie. I, pr I promise you, I'll go to this place with you if I ever make it to Georgia. <laughs> And I hope that you all, um, you know, it takes about four days to learn Transcendental Meditation. Each person is taught one-on-one. -on -one. So you all can get going on this right away. And uh, as I said, you've got Dr. Ashley Deans there, who's the gre greatest proponent of consciousness-based education. And you've got the Transcendental Meditation teachers, and you have the, um, the desire to get going. So if I can help in any way, let me know. But it won't get done unless you guys do it. So I'm wishing you all the very best and stay in touch and let's get this uh, this world um, a better place. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>